Hey everyone, how's it going? So we wrote this code which verifies that we do have a content uh, parameter sent with us. Um, if we don't have it, we will cancel the request and just send a 400, which is basically a bad request status. So if we get past this if statement, we know we've got the data we need and we can go ahead and create the post. So uh, to create the post though, we're gonna use uh, a schema again. If you remember, in the register routes, we used the uh, user schema to create the user object right here. So we're gonna do the same thing, but for posts, we'll have like post.create, okay? Um, so in order to do that, of course, we need to have the post schema. So let's go and find the folder where we had our user schema right here in the schemas folder. Right click on that and create a new file, and this will be called uh, post schema.js. Now, I've used uh, uppercase characters at the start of the schema uh, names. You'll see the user's got an uppercase U, post has got an uppercase P, and that's because the schemas are kind of like uh, classes, uh, models, types. So it's kind of good practice to put uh, this kind of thing with uppercase letters there. So just in case you're wondering why I used uppercase characters there. Um, anyway, what we'll do is we'll copy the user schema, because uh, it's a good start point for us. Just copy that, and let's paste it. Uh, where are we going to paste it? In, uh, in post schema, of course. Um, so this is a good start point. Of course, it won't be user schema, it's gonna be post schema. Now it's gonna be a new schema, but of course we're gonna change uh, a lot of the data types that are in there. So actually, I'll actually get rid of all those and we'll start clean. Um, and actually, just while we're here, we may as well set these so we don't forget. I'll change the name of the variable here to post. I'll change the name of the model right here to uh, post as well. And then, uh, of course, make this match, and that should be good. Oh, uh, it's not user schema anymore, it's a post schema, so make sure you update that too. Uh, we're gonna keep timestamps true, because remember what that does is it adds the created at and updated at timestamps uh, automatically for us, so we don't have to do anything for that. Um, so we're gonna keep that. And then uh, all we have to do is just add the data types. So of course we do have a content one, this is the, the value of the post or the kind of uh, the text content I mean. Um, so we, we'll have that, that's just going to be a string. So you can declare it like this as a string or you can do what we did in the user schema uh, and declare it like this where the curly brackets are there and we've put type string and then required true. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do that but we don't want this to be required. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll copy this, this type value. Um, right here and I'll paste it uh, and replace that string. So now we've got this as a type, but I'm getting rid of required true. Now you're probably wondering why we're gonna get rid of required true when all the posts need to have um, some content, right? Well, yes, you're right, but um, what we wanna do later on is allow them to retweet posts um, by pressing the button and when they retweet them, we're not going to have content. Um, I'll explain more about this when we get to handle the retweeting parts, but we won't have content. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is if there's no content, we'll check another property, which we haven't obviously added yet, uh, and we'll make sh and we'll see if there's a, a post attached to it. But again, more on that later on. For now, we're just not making that as a required value. Um, anyway, we also want to do a posted uh, by value. Now, what's the data type of this going to be? Well, this is essentially the user that posted it. So what do we want to do? We could store a string with that user's username, and then we'd of course have to go to uh, the database and find someone with that username and then get their data. We could do the same with ID. We could go and store the ID as a string instead, and then go and use that and go and get the user's data. But one of the things that Mongoose lets us do is use uh, a schema type of object ID. So what we can do is uh, this. We can put curly brackets and we can say type oops, type is going to be schema dot types dot uh, object ID. So the type of this posted by uh, field is going to be uh, object ID. Now an object ID is the uh, unique ID which is automatically given to every, um, every bit of data that's added to this uh, collection. So these are called documents. Every document has a unique ID. We don't add that uh, and it does it automatically for us. So uh, an object ID is always going to be a unique value which corresponds to some other document. Now what that means is MongoDB can automatically populate this with the correct object. So we can automatically uh, fill this with all the data for that user. We won't have to do anything else really. Um, well we have to add one line of code when we get the data but you'll see how that works. It's really really simple. 
The one thing we need to do is tell it what kind of object it is so it can populate it. So we're going to say ref, uh, put a colon there, and then put user in there. So this will tell it that this is the object ID belonging to a user, and it will use that and populate it from the uh, user's table, okay? Or the user's uh, collection, I should say. Okay, we're nearly there. We'll just put one more in there, and that's going to be uh, pinned is going to be a Boolean. Now, um, pinned is basically just going to be true or false as to whether this is a pinned post or not. If I show you on my uh, my finished version of the site, you see you have the ability to pin a post to your profile, just like you can find on Twitter. So this will just be true or false based on whether this post is that user's pinned post or not. And that's it. We've now created the user schema and we're ready to start using it. Now, we will come back and add more properties here later on or more fields, um, but uh, for now, this is all we need. We'll come back and add the other ones as we need them, okay?